Hi guys and welcome to 123 My IT. In this video, we will show you how to use the accessibility feature called Tap Back on your iPhone. This feature allows you to tap the back of your iPhone two or three times and the phone will perform an action. You can apply all sorts of different actions like inverted colors or scroll up and down just by tapping the back of your iPhone. Okay, let's go ahead and set it up. You can find back tap under the settings, accessibility, touch, and then if you scroll to the bottom, you will find back tap. In here, you will have two settings, double tap and triple tap. If we go into double tap, that means you will have to tap the back of your phone two times to perform the action. So you will have a whole heap of actions to perform. Let's test some out. Currently we are on classic invert. Let's change it over to smart invert. Smart invert is a bit like dark mode. It will change the colors of your iPhone to make it a bit easier on the eye. You could prank a family member with this one. The next one to try is scroll down. So if I select scroll down and then tap the back of the phone twice, it will scroll down whenever whatever menu I'm in. Also, you can set the triple tap as a scroll up action. So if I go back out of the double tap menu and then go into the triple tap menu, and then if I, if I put a tick beside the triple tap, then I should be able to double tap to scroll down and triple tap to scroll up. The next one to try is setting triple tap to control center and double tap to app switcher. So if you do a double tap, it takes you to the app switcher so I can change apps or I can close them if I want to. And if you do a triple tap, it will take you to your control center where you can change the volume, turn on your torch, or turn on airplane mode. You can set it up with volume up and down. This is handy if you listen to music a lot. You probably want to set these up to something that you use frequently. You can set up other apps like Magnifier, but it's not something that I use a lot, so I would not find it that handy. It's pretty, it is a pretty fun app though. Also guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as iPhone 8 settings you need to turn off in 2021. And do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon.